Welcome back to a night in Roxburgh. We're here at the inn. I was about to go explore sewers and I realized the whole reason I came back to the inn right now was to bring our keeper friend back. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. I, don't, I haven't found... I haven't found the dead keeper friend yet. So I guess we do explore. Hmm, I may have to stop in here for a drink later. The sewers slash storeroom. Sing the lockpick song. Listen to the lockpick toothing in the locky thing. Square and triangle. Opens the door after half an hour or more. That's gonna be this key again, right? Yeah, that, the the gate wasn't the key, but the other two are. Hello? I hope these aren't my last words. Me and two others were sent to take a look in the sewers. We arrived under the inn and there was that... this... Just time I saw something like that. What was that? Oliver! Horrible! We are locked now. They don't want to open. Can I try to make it through to another exit? They're slow. We can hear them. We could get lucky. One mustn't go down in the sewers! Uh, I mean, you're probably right. That's kind of where I'm supposed to go when I finish the rest of the mission. I haven't found the bloody heart of stone or whatever the thing is called. Okay, it's dark enough in there now that he's not really noticing me walking by. Um, I need to go back to that secret area. Back through here once again, I guess. Okay, so how do I find my way back? I guess we go to the Red Square and head north again. Uh, east, rather. Yeah. Back to Black Market, I'll get me to the cliff, and then I need to look and see and figure out how I get that gem, because it's there in their place. Teleport me. Let me clean up your decor first. There we are. So let's get out of the ground floor here and see what's up. Do massive burn of damage on the way. Let's also check out these up here. <laughs> Nothing. Just rafters. There's the thing we need. How do we get in there? Looks like a door, but it's not a door. 
What is this? Hmm. Feels odd. Am I stuck? Got in. How come I can't get out? Stuck. Well, this is good. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem to have anything to do with. I thought maybe stepping in there would teleport me to the other side or something funky like that, but maybe I need to reread readables to get a clue as to what's going on here. It's one, of, it's one of these, maybe. A secret door or something? Probably not, right? It's just a... Just a wild guess. Not, not actually... Meaningful. Alright. Let's see what people were writing about the thing. Blah, blah, blah. Interrogation. Where is the corpse, right? Good question. Where is this? Where is the dead keeper? He should be here somewhere. Da, da, da. Prophetic book lost. Please deal with the remains. So you must acquire the access methods from Saul Fergus. Only if Fergus knows the switches that unlock the basement door. Oh, the basement door is. Hmm. Which is Saul Fergus? Lima. This is protective soul. What's his face, right? Oh, this is Bert Fergus. Oh, hello. That should get us to the remains of our poor keeper associate then. Wait, I thought that was the basement door. Was it down here? I heard a door swing open. It sounded like it came from the. Oh! That's. I did hear a door swing open. Okay, let's go back to Fergus. Maybe he's got another one for us that will actually open the basement and not the uh, thing I came here to get and accidentally found. Fergus, are you hiding any other secret switches here? Probably, right? That's that one, that's the same one. Okay. You know what, let's drop a piece of cheese there just to mark it. Market to market to buy any fat cheese. Of course, the other switch might not be in this room. It's quite possible. Speaking of cheese, there we are, I've got a hit point back. Maybe one of one of these other bookshelves is hiding a switch for the basement door. Desk? I mean Fergus wasn't at the desk, right? anything there. Go up a floor, but it seems like we're getting further away. Let's come down to 
this floor or if there's if there's a switch that opens that door maybe it's hmm Which is on the basement door. I, mean, I assume this is the basement door, right? So somewhere there's a switch that unlocks it. Okay. Didn't seem to be in Fergus's room, so I guess I'm searching this entire place from top to bottom. Find a hidden switch. Christ. Builder. I use the builder to try my patience, so... I mean, I had no idea even where to start looking. It wasn't... It didn't seem to be in Focus's place. So we got here, right? He got the soul heart, which I don't know what it's supposed to do. Does it do anything? Where is it? Yeah, it's just, just a thing. Why does only the protective guy know the way to the basement? I mean, that's just silly, especially if he wasn't doing the interrogation. Does he have to let everybody in and out? He's not going to do much protecting if he has to act as a doorman. I don't want to have to go look this up, but I'm going to have to go look this up, I think. It's, uh, it's like the previous mission was like, oh, find these artfully hidden keys for the primary objective, which means actually look up most of them or spend hours. Um, this one seems to be find this artfully hidden switch for a primary objective. It's not like it's an optional objective. Also, loot. Still missing that 700 loot. I am extremely low on patience, so I'm going to look this up. Well, apparently there's another proper book there. Um... In the other section. Unless somebody's m m confusing two hints, because I found one probable book, right? That's the cheese one. It's a gate at the bottom that's not the basement. I mean, it's quite possible someone gave a hint confusing the switches, which is... wouldn't surprise me. Ah, there we are. Do you like to mark that one? I'll pick this up in a minute, if that is indeed the right one. I didn't hear a thing, so it seemed to do nothing. Okay. That was the basement door. Alright. Two, three to the left, four, five to the left. I mean, he's marking this second one, so. All right, that was uh, annoying. But here we are. Basement. Hopefully we can find our dead keeper friend here and... Uh, get them back to the inn. It's possible we've got more... More friends here? No. Oh, I see. That was the roof of this torture chamber. Alright. Keep Lucian.
to get all the way to the top of the stairs, and I guess we'll go through the teleporter again. The good one, the one that takes us near the end. Because we've actually got everything we need now, right? We got the, the soul tier or whatever the gem's called. Ugh, you're heavy. Is this the way out? Yes. Teleporter to realize that I'm here. Just don't understand how this teleporter is there. Only sometimes working. <coughs> Ouch. Alright, well, we just need to bring you to Artemis' room, so that's not so bad. Now that everybody in the in the inn is unconscious, except for the one guard on the table. Who hopefully, who shouldn't see us. Not even watching. Just chilling out on the table. Dancing. Okay. Find out about the secret passage and escape and steal 4500 in loot. Well, I hope there's a ton of loot in the uh, sewers down here because if not, I'm going to have to do a lot of. a lot more looking up to find loot. Alright, sewers it is. Let, let me do a hard save because we've just got all the uh, primary objectives done, right? So there's things in the sewers that kill people. Oh, ladders. Yeah, I know. They're pretty deadly, aren't they? Is that the this things that like kill a people? dangerous area. Just looks like the rest of the other sewers. Is it not the same as the other sewers? Probably not, there's probably more undead here, right? I mean, what's I to have five? That's a zombie, right? Also a zombie. You'll forget about me in a minute. I'm gonna go check out this corpse down here, which is probably not a zombie, but. Well, actually. <laughs> Too many loot for me? No. No. Why don't you sleep? Secret door. Hmm. Let's see 
into a corpse, not a zombie. It's definitely a secret door, but what opens it? There might be a switch in the water or near the water. Aha. Uh -huh. Time to go. So is this just the way out? Okay, this is just the way out, but... I have loot to find. 700 loot to find. Some, some mail. Not enough. Three eight eight six. Yeah, we still need a, almost seven hundred. Some mail. Why didn't you have more loot? I guess you were the one who left the note. Want to drop any loot down here? Maybe not, right? Foolish to expect it. <sighs> yeah, stop laughing at me. That's closed. All right, I don't want this to become a loot hunt, but apparently it has. Uh, the good news is pretty much all the enemies are out of the way, so... It might be tedious, but it shouldn't be very deadly. So none of the spice was valuable, even? So terrible. Where do I look for loot then? About up there. Not really a way to get up there, is there? I think that's decorative. Go look up some loot locations because I don't want to just be crawling forever. So I'll be back again. Okay, so secrets, secrets. We've got a loot goal to meet, and really the only way we're gonna get it is by secrets. Uh, and so I looked them up, looked a couple of them up. First one is in here. We follow the trail of blood. You know, the trail of blood looks like it ends here, but apparently, I mean, I guess it does. But where does it start? But where did that guy come from? Right, you follow the trail of blood. It kind of stops here, right? He didn't go that, like, that way, so he must have come from here. Dude, that's a door and a switch hidden in the water there. Now, I know exactly where that switch is because this is the second time I've recorded this. Uh, don't mind me, Rosie. It's the second time I've recorded this now because the first time I uh, still had the mic muted. 
So far, this, this mission is a complete train wreck in multiple ways. Yeah. We'll just try and find whatever loot we can get. It's just a dining table. Hello. Flash bomb, sure, whatever. Don't need it. That's banners. Death chairs, too, maybe, but. Day 10. Task distribution. Some mail went to Luton Mechanist Warehouse. He's nuts, but oh well, he told us he had a good tip. Wait and see. Just hope we don't bring the city watch down there. Kamaya is hanging around the new inn. If at least he can bring back a good bottle, it'll be great. Ramon went to visit a few houses near his hideout. It's right ahead of a Mechanist Warehouse. Damn, he's lucky not to be found yet. Samael believes he has contacts with the militia. I'll have to keep an eye on him. Lucas is hanging around his hideout too. Artist and I, we stay at the hiding place. Gotta get some food to Rosie. If only the boss was here, we would have boldness. Day 12. Today's party time. Rao escaped from the Highstone prison. Outstanding. Did get to get out from the best guarded fortress of the City Watch? Damn, the boss kicks ass. I can just imagine Sheriff Truett's face. Business will take over for good. We'll wait till the others come back to celebrate. Ramon is back with nothing. He told me there's a lot of mechanisms to sell. The little he'd stolen, he gave to Stuart. Lucas and Gamaya returned. Lucas found some spice bags. What a good surprise. Tommy Samal won't be back for a few days, though. We're not going to wait for him. Gamaya brought back two bottles of fine wine from the inn, perfect for the boss's return. He went through Rushmore Quarter. Rao wants everybody together. I feel we'll have a good laugh. Too bad for Samal. I guess he'll join us later. Day 15. Back to the hiding place. The boss has new projects. Gonna be fun. Poor Rosie. She ate so damn much she needs a few days rest. Still no news about Samal. Hope he's not caught. He could betray us to save his ass. Ramon went back to his hideout. I don't trust him. Who knows what the hell he's doing out there. Day 18. Been hearing strange sounds in the tunnels and Rosie is nervous. Something's going on. Hope that's not their mechanist machines. Artist went on patrol in the sewers. Damn, somehow got caught or what? Lucas went to visit Jacob. I'll talk to Stuart. Gamaya keeps sleeping. He ate too much last night. Day 20. What the hell's happening down there? Been two days since Artis left, and we can forget some hour of that tougher. When Ramon came back, he couldn't get in the hideout. Rosie was attacking him. She's gone insane with all these noises. Plus, he's wounded. Got a black mark on his arm. He says it's Rosie that bit him, but looks more like an arrow or sword wound. Weird. Lucas told me Jacob got caught by the mechanists and has got work. Uh, um, has got to work under City Watch surveillance. What the hell? Day twenty one. Can't believe it. Ate my Rosie. That bastard devoured my Rosie. Ramon's gone insane. Kamaya helped me lock him out because he wanted to eat us too. He's knocking on the door. We're locked up all safe, but if he keeps this shit up, we'll have to kill him. Day 22. I can't take it anymore. These guys have to come help us because we can't get rid of him. We tried arrows, swords, but nothing works. We can't stop him. Every time he gets back up, it's like he's undead. But that's impossible. Earlier in the afternoon, artist came back. We thought he was dead. No wounds. He's alright, but he almost got eaten. Had to run for his life around the sewers with Ramon right behind him. He managed to get out, but he told us there were a lot of others like him. That's why he was late. It's us three, stuck. Ramon tapping at the door. It's... We heard Lucas arriving, but he just bled. We almost haven't got any more food. We've got to inform the others about it before they get... The writing stops suddenly. Okay. Is that you, Ramon, that are here? Laughing away there. Yeah, I guess the Rats of Roxburg uh, met their end. Yeah. All right, another letter. Remember, don't mantle at the top of this one, or you fall to your death. That's, you know, exactly how a mission should be designed. Okay, so let's go down to Red Square. Next secret. How are we doing? 4316, we need 200 left. Next secret is near the fortress, which is this way? No. Yes? Yes. Near the fortress, right here, there's another hidden door. Which is like, obviously you're trying this, right? 
There's another door, guys. So we've got a uh, another hideout from our friends. Four, four, nine, six. Are you kidding me? Oh shit! Thanks. <laughs> okay, it's like a four. I would need four, four more dollars, whatever. God, that would suck. But okay, we've hit the loot goal. We can finish cleaning up in here. Pick whatever's in this crate. I'm not seeing anyone pick something again. Four nine four six. Okay, that's that's a lot better. I think this one alone would have got us over the uh, the mark. Can I read that? No. All right. Out we go. Time to head back to the inn once more. You know what, given uh, everything, it's probably easier to go to the black market and the teleporter than uh, to try and find my way back through the sewers and risk those deadly ladders again. The ladders of doom. So we come here, we use this door glyph, we use the teleporter. And then we get the quick way back. Maybe at the cost of more uh, health, but you know. Nope. Good, good, good. See this one? Not probable. It looks valuable, but it can't be can't be fraught. But the other one of this kind back there in the sewers was. Never mind. Let's just double check. Everything done. Once you're in the suit under the inn, find Artemis the secret passage and escape. Yes. And these two we did not want to take off because. Well. There's, you know, not so much undead that we found in this part of the city as this kind of as we feared. You're right, mate. You look like you've got a problem. Maybe it's a problem I can solve for you. Let's oh, tidy up. was a zombie, okay. Here we go. At long last, that was a night in Roxburgh. So, uh, interesting concepts, like the idea of having part of the street safe is, is really interesting. I have no idea how you would actually get those keepers back without knocking everybody on the streets out, honestly. Um, it's probably possible with a lot of patience, but uh, who knows. Um, unless the, unless those keepers are not marked as as alerting people so they don't actually, people wouldn't, don't alert just because you're carrying a dead body like or an unconscious body. Normally they will Normally they will alert that, but who knows. But even so, it, like, given how sound just propagates around this mission like mad, the fact that, uh, you know, I accidentally climb, you know, I use my weapons, I accidentally make some jumping noises out, in, out of the safe zone, and that makes everybody in the safe zone hate me, it's just, is kind of broken. It's just a little too broken. Uh... I know it's difficult to make uh, neutral AIs behave sensibly, and it's even even in the original game, it's a pile of hacks to make it work. But uh, there's there's better hacks. But you know, this was this mission was from 2005, so back then, maybe no one had figured out any better hacks for it. I don't know. Oh, and there's ladders of death, dear idea. 
first mission was a key hunt, this one was a loot hunt. Let's hope the next one's a little more balanced and I don't have to look up too much stuff just to finish it. So we still missed almost a thousand loot. <laughs> and there's six more secrets buried somewhere in there. Well, they're going to remain secret as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, thanks so much for watching. And uh, if you'll join me next time for the third and I think final mission in the Roxburgh series. I'm not sure if it's intended to be the final one, but I believe it was the last one. I could be wrong about that. Um, I'll see you then.